Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, if you have downloaded your macOS Ventura and you are experiencing Bluetooth problems and you already tried restarting your computer, then this video is for you. I think I can speak for most people that we use a lot of Bluetooth devices nowadays, like wireless headphones or a mouse. And it's crucial for our macOS to maintain that connection in Bluetooth. But sometimes when you update to like a beta or to a new OS, there could be some problems. So the first tip that I want to share with you guys today is to check for a system update first. So you can start by going to settings then going to general and then to software update and then it'll check for updates real quick and if there is an update present then you should definitely install it right away so my macbook is completely up to date so we're going to move on to step two and step two is to unpair your device and then repair it so we're back in the settings menu we're going to go to bluetooth which is in the top left and then we'll click on the device that's giving us problem i'm going to click the i button over here click forget this device and in this example we're going to be repairing my bluetooth headphones so i'm just going to turn it on and turn on the bluetooth detecting setting and because my macbook is looking for new signals i should be able to find my headphones which are right here click connect and now we're good to go and it should be working completely fine the third tip is a possible quick alternative to the last one which is to just turn on your bluetooth on and off in the quick control center so we'll go to the top right corner over here we'll click on bluetooth over here click off, click right back on, and then hopefully that'll make it a lot easier for you. So this next one is more of an environmental issue than it is a computer one, and that is to remove obstructions that could be interfering with the Bluetooth signal. So if we plug too many things into our device, it actually isn't that great for our Bluetooth devices. So try to unplug anything that you're not using or that's unnecessary. But one tip that I want to share with you is actually about our Wi-Fi. So let's go to the control center in the top right, click on Wi-Fi, and then other networks. You're going to look for your router name dash 5G because that's going to give you a 5 gigahertz signal. If you you click on the 2G one or a regular one, that could give you a 2.4 gigahertz signal, which is the same exact channel and frequency that your Bluetooth device uses. And you definitely don't want all of your devices using the same signal because that's considered a dirty environment and that'll mess with your frequency. So the next tip that I'm going to be sharing with you is to run maintenance scripts on your Mac and that could be freeing up RAM or repairing permissions. And that could seem really intimidating, but I use one app that'll make it all easy and it's called Clean My Mac X. So I'm going to open that up right here. So I'm going to go to maintenance in the speed section and then i have all these tasks that clean my mac x can run like freeing up ram purge little space running maintenance scripts all the stuff that i just mentioned and i'm going to click on run and just like that clean my mac x ran all the necessary things that could be repairing my bluetooth and more there's like system junk that i can clear out through this app there's some malware protection removal or getting rid of large and old files this app can do it all and if you want to use clean my mac x today there's a link down in the description box below and you could download it today this tip is not as common and straightforward as the past ones so i'm going to be teaching you how to reset the bluetooth module on your mac so let's click command space open up terminal and then we're going to type in this command sudo pkill bluetooth hd click enter you're going to type in your password and then it's going to run a command extremely quickly but you have to reset your device and hopefully this should fix your bluetooth problems this last tip is also not that common and it's about deleting the bluetooth plist file so we're going to click on finder we'll proceed to the top left corner click go and head over to go to folder. You're gonna type in this address right here and then go to the top right corner and search up com.apple.bluetooth plist and if you see that file present drag it to the trash and reset your computer and you should be all good thank you guys so much for watching if you want the most simplest way to do all this i recommend clean my mac x again down in the description box below it'll make your whole life easier 